Looking for a new furry friend, the Woodford Humane Society could be a spot you may want to check out. Beth Olson joins us from the Humane Society and brings a special friend. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having us, as always. Of course. Now, of course, let's talk about your friend here. <laughs> yes, this is Coffee. <laughs> Um, he has been turning on the charm today. He's about mm -hmm. a year and a half old. He's, you can tell he's a big boy. Um, he is Rottweiler and one of the larger hound breeds, so maybe mm -hmm. like coonhound or uh, bloodhound mix. Um, he's done growing. He's topped out at about 80 pounds, but he is definitely a bigger dog. Um, so he is looking for someone who's going to, you know, keep him busy and, of course, have plenty of space for him to mm -hmm. uh, run around and stretch out a little bit. I always was thinking about, does the size matter when getting adopted for these dogs? And it does. Okay. Um, so a lot of it boils down to logistics. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about what's easier for someone to take care right, of or right. find housing with now especially, um, smaller dogs are easier. Mm -hmm. um, so smaller dogs are more in demand, um, which can make the wait a little bit longer for a, a bigger fellow like Coffee. But Coffee is still a younger dog. He is. Under the age of two, we were, I know we were talking a little off camera about sometimes once a dog hits two, it's harder to get them adopted. Yeah, um, so he still definitely has like a lot of that puppiness about him. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, everyone is really drawn to the babies. So the kittens right. and puppies have an easier time finding homes. And unfortunately that means, you know, once they're adults, they tend to get overlooked or passed over in favor of the younger ones. Mm -hmm. um, even if they are just, you know, two years old, which of course is still very young for a dog or cat, um, it can definitely be a harder process for them to find adopters. Um, so we're, we're hoping to shine a little extra spotlight on our adult adoptable dogs and cats and see if we can find some great homes. Mm -hmm. And you got, speaking of that, you have an adoption event coming up. We do. So not this coming weekend, but the weekend after, mm -hmm. September 23rd and 24th. We actually have uh, free adoptions for everybody who is two years and up. Okay. And that is thanks to our partners at Classic Rock 92.1 who helped us organize this. And awesome. uh, sponsorship from Republic Bank and G&J uh, Pepsi who are going to be paying for those adoption fees. Mm -hmm. um, so our hope is that that will uh, just bring a little extra attention to the adult dogs and cats who have been waiting patiently for homes and, you know, would really be a great fit for somebody. And I know we talked last time, it was probably a month ago since you were on the show, but you have a lot of pets that need homes. We do. We do, and that has not changed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, shelters everywhere, and we're not separate from that, are just bursting at the seams right now with dogs in particular. Um, mm -hmm. So there are a lot of pets that we have that have waited for more than six months. Coffee's been with us for more than six months. Mm -hmm. um, we have many pets right now who have been with us for more than a year. So these are some of the animals that we're hoping, you know, they've, they've really been patient and waited their turn, and we're hoping that this will be their chance to find some wonderful homes. Of course, and is it about the same amount of dogs and cats, or does it vary, just depending? Or? Um, it varies. Uh, we generally get in more cats, but our adoption rates for cats have um, stayed a little higher than they have for dogs, so the cats mm -hmm. like come and go a little bit faster right now. Mm -hmm. But that just really changes, you know, from one year to another. Um, right now, you know, it, it's dogs that we have less space for because they require more space for each individual, right? Right, right. Um, so, so it's dogs and puppies that we are just over full on. Mm -hmm. um, and now we have plenty of cats and kittens too. So if you're not a dog person, totally get it. We still got cats right. and kittens for you. <laughs> there you go. There's lots of options. And back to the event, do you have to um, s uh, sign up for it in advance? How does that work? Yeah, so we are still operating by appointment. So okay. that will apply for the 23rd and the 24th, even though those are special adoptions. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start booking appointments as soon as the Monday before. So if you're interested in participating, you know, you can go ahead and look on our website, see our full list of adoptable pets, and just know that, you know, some may be added between now mm -hmm. and then. Um, and if you see someone you think you're interested in, you know, starting Monday morning at about 10 o'clock, just give us a call and we'll get you on the schedule, we'll get you booked for one of those uh, special weekend appointments. Awesome. And one last time, how can folks learn more about the Woodford Humane Society? Everything you need to know is just on our website, okay. woodfordhumane.org. Um, you can see all of our pets there, and there's a lot of other information about upcoming events as well. Cool. And, you know, Coffee seems like such a sweet, sweet pup. I hope he really, yeah, I hope he gets adopted. We hope so, too. He is definitely a staff favorite. I know we're not supposed to pick Have favorites. favorites. Like, they're like, all your children, and you can't choose any. Such, like, just the sweetest, like, most personable dog. We just love mm -hmm. him. Oh, so sweet. Well, thank you so much, Beth, for coming in. We really appreciate yeah, thanks it. Thanks for having us.